let's start from the top. This is my mom, Nelly Alvarado. Yeah. Y dice en español. Bienvenido a encontrar lo gracioso con Lisa Alvarado. You nailed it. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Una vez más. Yay, yay. <laughs> That's my mom getting the chancla out. I have another rated R show in the same theater and it was crazy. There was uh, a whole row of, uh, again, guys j just that were drunk. They were a little older than college age, but the guy just kept yelling stuff out. And finally, here's the hard part. Mm. You can see, but not always so clearly. So I can see the general area that he's in, but then I have to keep scanning the audience as I tell my jokes so that everybody feels included. So I can't just keep looking in his direction. Mm. Plus I don't want to keep paying attention to him because that's exactly what he wants. So finally these people that were around him, he kept talking and talking and talking. They were sick of it. So some people around him started to leave audience members that I actually wanted there that were laughing, wow, that were sad. loving the show. Yeah. were so annoyed because he wasn't heckling like the other guy where he was yelling, yelling, yelling. He was just talking really loud because he was totally hammered. Because mm. other people are trying to watch a show. If your buddy's a little too hammered or drunk, you guys can escort him out. It's cool. So, um, two guys that sat right next to him, who I think were his friends, get up and they walk out in the middle of my set. Mm. And I have the whole audience. I'm like, yes, because yeah. I thought it was the jerk. I thought it was him, but it wasn't. It was the guy literally sitting right next to him. Oh. So I have the whole audience sing na, 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 na. <laughs> Na 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 na. Go. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. To the two nice guys. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if they were so nice. They were his friends, so they were probably talking too. <laughs> but at least I got up and they walked out. But then after we sang that till the top of the stairs, to those two guys left, the audience was like, hey. Um, that wasn't the guy. Oh, that's so funny. And I was like, oh, shit. I <laughs> felt so bad. I'm like, we just some random guy going pee. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the loud one's still here? <laughs> Fucking white people. I can't tell them apart. I don't. Latinos are like, fucking roast them, girl. We just want to knock him right out of the room. I felt so bad. <laughs> so the guy, I was like, now you got to get out. Oh, yeah. Right. Now you have to get out because mm -hmm. you're annoying everybody. So then mm -hmm. he finally left. But there was there was some great one liners that I came up with. I was so proud of myself because sometimes <laughs> in the moment you come up, you just pull stuff out of your ass. You're like, right. how did I? That was awesome. Right. You know, and I'm like, I hope somebody's recording this. Right. <laughs> and so um, I'm going to show you a couple of these. These are some of my favorite lines. Do you know that on ships, this is the absolute truth. They have a prison. And a morgue. So fucking pick. <laughs> so that I love. That got that a huge, a that was a huge applause. And then when I couldn't get him to shut up, I was like, who touched you? <laughs> oh my gosh, who hurt you? Was it your priest? Was it your stepdad? Who the fuck touched you to make you like that? <laughs> this is what's wrong with America. In fact, it makes me want to bring back the draft. That's 
good. Yeah. Yeah. And all of this stuff is, I'm like, it's just coming. It's because I'm really feeling it in the moment. Right. And yes, being a great improviser is a real asset to stand up comedy. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of really, really great improvisers out there that mix jokes with it. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's great. But it doesn't mean that we're inviting heckling. Right. Because if we're improvisers and we're really good at it, we will just ask you a question. Right. That's the difference between the heckle. Okay. That's somebody purposely trying to interrupt the show. But if a great improviser uh, who is a stand-up comedian is asking someone, you know, what do you do for a living or what, what town did you, or what's your biggest fear or like asking and legit. And then you go through this banter. That's different. Mm -hmm. That's like improv comedic genius jokes. And a lot of times a comic will actually ask something to the audience to set up a joke that they have about it. Mm. And the really good comedians do it seamlessly. You don't even know that that's where they're going. Oh. Sometimes I'll ask, um, the audience who has a tattoo because I have a tattoo joke. I don't give a shit if you have a tattoo. <laughs> I'm saying it and I'm asking you mm -hmm. because I got jokes about it. Right. So let's talk about that. And sometimes when I'm working on a new bit, I will ask questions to the audience because they help me write the bit. Right. Oh. I am a good improviser. So when I'm in the thing about tattoos, you know, I will tell a story about somebody that had a weird tattoo that now becomes a part of my act. Mm. So there's a lot of really fun moments when you can open up and you're having a conversation with an audience. Those are the moments I really love. I do not like the heckler moments, even when I can handle them, even when I can bury the person, even when I can kick <laughs> them out. Right. That's not why I did comedy. It's not why I learned. Would you say that that's the difference? Like, you know, that's crowd work as opposed to heckler. Like that's basically yes. what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And crowd work is something you like, right? Because you have the lights up just a little because you like to interact with yeah. the audience. Yeah, I love interacting with the audience. I love to see their expression. I love connecting mm. through eye contact and like just looking at someone and you know they know what you're going through or a certain experience about being divorced yeah. or, yeah. or this or a breakup or getting fired from a job. You can just see it in their face. That recognition mm. sometimes is better than a laugh. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, rarely, but <laughs> sometimes when you get this look of like, yeah, that's exactly what I felt. There's like this instant bond between you and a stranger mm. that brings you closer automatically. So those are the moments that I mm -hmm. love, but that had nothing to do with heckling. Right. Absolutely nothing. That's just you communicating with the audience, with the people that are there to see you and there to be entertained and share a part of their life too. Right. That's totally You're inviting them. Right. Plus <laughs> hecklers normally do it in darkness. Right. That's the other thing. They like to hide oh, wow. um, yeah. in a darker room and they yell from the back or they yell something so incoherent right? because they're so usually drunk or high or both. Mm -hmm. And they're normally, like if you try to shut them up, if you do successfully shut them up, they'll start talking again because it's not even about you. It's all about them. Mm. And- they're usually want to be comedians mm. or really honestly just need to be acknowledged as a human being looking for attention, right? Yeah. Attention, but acknowledgement, love, acceptance, you know? Yeah. Bad love, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, they'll pay attention to me. I'll be special because everybody will be talking to me, right. paying attention to me. They're all going to be looking at me. <laughs> Be a fucking comic. Yeah. <laughs> Start writing some jokes and get on stage. If yeah. you want that attention, great. I'm not opposed to it. Do it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it to somebody that has the balls to do something this difficult in yeah. front of a group of strangers. Exactly. And then try to tear them down. Mm. There's just nothing. There, there, there's just nothing honorable about that. Mm. You know what I mean? There's ways to get attention. 
Wear a low cut shirt. I don't know. It works for me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Hopefully you won't encounter a situation where you're, where you're being heckled by somebody that's really hurting. Mm. I find that happens every once in a while. Normally it's just the, I need attention thing, Mm. but sometimes people are really angry for some reason or they're going through something and you can feel. Wow. Really? Yeah. Every once in a while that will happen. And it's usually a dude. Yeah. Most Drunk hecklers, a lot of them are women. And I don't like to admit that. <laughs> Ladies, hold your liquor, man. <laughs> don't. It, it's just like some of the worst hecklers are women. So a drunk heckler is just somebody who is like incoherent or makes no, just make yeah. that scene for no yeah, good Yeah, they're reason. doing the woo. Yeah. Or like <laughs> just, ugh. But the people that I've actually had approach the stage recently were two women they weren't men they were women doing that to a female comic ah. that's the one thing is i'm like women we go through so much stuff mm-hmm. if anything we need to really be the ones that are respecting one another yeah and protecting one another mm. because there's a lot of attack from men and like trying to control us still and all of these stupid things that are happening right now. It's like women should be fighting for women Mm -hmm. in a good way. You know, Mm -hmm. um, uh, I hope that we caught this on camera. There was a woman that came up to the stage and just stood there. Baby, I will get to you. I will. I'm a, you just, (laughs) hi, you're, you're, you're approaching the stage. You know, I might have to cut you. So like, just go over there. (laughs) I'll get to you, I promise. But she came up in what? the theater and would not leave the side of the stage. Okay, give it up for because she's a walk her ass back to her seat right now. Come on, mama. Go ahead, go. I, I promise you, I promise. They're all witnesses. I will come over. I promise. I will come over. I know you love your person. <laughs> Awkward. That's what your mom says on the poll. Shut it. I'll handle this. I got jokes. One, it's a woman, so I don't want to have her bounced by security. Mm-hmm. Plus, no security guard is going to put their hands on a woman right. and not think lawsuit. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And two, she was an ethnic woman, and I'm ethnic, so I am not going to pick a fight with you because mm-hmm. there's this like mutual respect of mm-hmm. hardship thing there, yeah. minorities sticking together. Right. And I didn't know who her friends were. I don't know if they're drunk or if she's drunk or if she just is really passionate. I don't know what is going on. Do you never know when someone comes up to the stage, mm-hmm. are they drunk? Are they high? Are they on something stronger? Right. You oh, don't yeah. know if they're going to snap. So for comedians, it's been really difficult. You know, right. I had another woman throw gum at me. <gasps> oh, she threw gum at my hair. Thank oh God she missed. She threw, like, how disrespectful. Oh, that is just, yeah. You might like, taking gum out something. of your mouth and throwing it at me because I told you to shut up. Wow. Like, it's just, it's unreal. It's it's crazy, the stuff that's happening nowadays. What is this, Roadhouse? Jeez. I know, I know, with Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Speaking of Roadhouse, I got to pause that, like, five times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness doesn't he look great yeah <laughs> i had to watch it after you said yeah, you it's it. i mean it's just <laughs> a horrible storyline it's so bad but if you just press mute <laughs> and watch this movie ladies <laughs> very good yeah very nice six pack he could heckle me and i would be okay with it <laughs> that- so you're saying like that's an angry heckler this woman she was angry no, the guy was angry. That lady, like, I just didn't know if she was crazy or if she was what was motivating her to come to the stage. But there are some people sometimes when they heckle, they're really, they're angry. Mm-hmm. It's almost like the whole political thing. Mm-hmm. You know how the country's pretty divided now, which is sad to me. Mm-hmm. Um, they have like like this anger of like, you don't understand me or, or mm. you're different than me and what you believe is complete crap. Mm. And they have like this animosity 
uh, when they're talking to you or this disrespectful tone Mm -hmm. of like, I don't give a shit and you suck. And that the thing that is so weird to me is that people like that, that should be the first people to get up and walk out of your show because they don't like it Mm -hmm. or they can't relate to you. Right. But they like to stay and just become more angry and complain more. Wow. It's kind of funny to me. I'm like, there's a million things to do outside of this door and I won't get offended if you leave. I'm okay with it. Right. I realize that there is no comedian that is going to please every single audience member. Everybody has a different style, different taste mm-hmm. and, and, uh, appeal to different people. So okay. I, I don't get offended. If someone doesn't like my type of humor, it's okay. You can walk out. I'll even wait and, and let you <laughs> go. I'll, I won't say a word. I won't make fun of you. It's cool. Yeah. I'm fine with that. As long as you do it respectfully, I'm cool with that. As long as you're not like knocking shit over on the way out or saying mean things. Yeah, go. Right, right. But nine times out of 10, people just stay inside the show and they just love to complain. Wow. Or heckle or be (laughs) mean. Weird. And I'm like, what? Who does that? Yeah. And here's the other thing, hecklers. You're not adding anything to the show. Mm. You're not saving the comic unless they're a really terrible comic. And in that case, you're not going to laugh with what they do anyway with a heckle. So just try going in there and listening Mm -hmm. and actually hearing out their, their craft and and the, the stuff that they worked so hard to present for you. Yeah. You know, like give it a whirl. And then if they ask you a question, yes, then talk to them. (laughs) <laughs> for right. sure they're asking you they're right. you, they're giving you full on permission right to interact with them that that is not a heckle and i enjoy those and then have fun man that's that's the other thing don't judge so harshly man just you don't like a joke it's okay let mm-hmm. that one slide by mm-hmm. hopefully you'll like the next one mm. if you think the same thing um in terms of heckling is not adding to audiences, it's not adding to the performance. It's messing up the the whole vibe of the show. Let me know in the comments, what is the best heckler situation you've ever seen? Like what's the best line you've ever heard a comedian say to a heckler? Drop it in the bottom, because I actually want to watch those. I <laughs> love when comics triumph on those. Mm. I don't like the situations. I don't need a heckler to make my show what go well. Mm. But if you've seen one that's really, really good and handled like unbelievably, send it. Put a link in mm. the bottom. I want to see who that was. I want to see what happened. <laughs> and then tell me what joke you like from that comic. Oh, okay? there you go. Yes, I understand. Heckling could be fun. And it is... Hilarious in the moment, but what other joke do you remember from that comedian that you loved? That is fair. That's a fair assessment. (laughs) Yeah. So we'll see you guys in two weeks right here on Find the Funny with Lisa Alvarado. That's me. Thanks, guys. See you soon. I hope everybody listens to my daughter and see it and laughing with her because she is very funny. (laughs) 